What is up, Fit Fam, and welcome back to my channel. Today's a super exciting video. I'm gonna be talking about how I started Gatsburg Fit, how I got into health and fitness, because it may look like I have always looked like this. However, that is a very, very, very incorrect. I have not. Um, I had to work very hard for the body that I have and to change my lifestyle. So, I'm gonna be talking about all that stuff, how I lost weight in high school. I lost like a little bit over 50 pounds, which is crazy now because I don't ever, like, I don't consider myself the person that I am now to the person that I was back then. I literally consider myself to be a completely different person, and I am. If you knew me then versus now, I'm very different. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be talking all about that, how to change your life, how to get super healthy, how I did it, maybe tips and tricks that will help you. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. If I'm looking down, I'm looking at my laptop right here with all my notes. <laughs> So let's begin, let's throw it way back to my childhood. As a kid, I was always like on the pudgy side of being a kid. Um, I came to realize that when I was a kid, I was always active. I played like literally every single sport. I swam, volleyball, softball, basketball, dance, like you name it, gymnastics. I've literally done it, skiing, rollerblading, like literally, you name it, I've done it. I was always super active as a kid. Um, but I realized that no matter what I ate, like I would just, gain weight from it and it was crazy like when I would go to a birthday party and I would eat the same like piece of cake and pizza that like these other kids would be eating your girl would gain 10 pounds and the kids would go run outside for five minutes and burn it off and I did not have that luxury <laughs> I um I honestly have bad genetics my dad's side of the family has diabetes they're all overweight I was just given that genetically so I was basically just dealt an immediate slow metabolism you need to work five times as hard as everyone else in order to stay fit stay healthy and as a kid like what kid wants to eat a salad when everyone else is eating pizza you know what i mean like you didn't think about it so i just ate what everyone else ate what i was given and i ended up just gaining weight from it and no matter what i did no matter how active i was no matter if i played at the park no matter if i went for a bike ride it still like would not do anything to me so once i became a little bit older probably like end of elementary school, middle school, um, I started noticing that I was like bigger than everyone else and I was like, okay, I'm gonna change it. So obviously with that comes yo-yo dieting, uh, being like, oh, I'm not gonna eat today or I'm gonna eat like a cucumber or like a carrot or a granola bar and then just not eat the rest of the day and then lose weight and it'll be fine. And that does not work. Let me tell you, no matter how many times you will try to do that, you will end up caving and eating more than you were going to in the first place because your body is now starved of nutrients and will eat literally anything in its path. Um, so yo-yo dieting does not work. I remember every year for New Year's, and for my New Year's resolution, it would be, oh, I'm going to get skinny. Not get healthy, but I'm going to get skinny. I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to be super thin, I'm going to look like all the models, you know, gonna be super, super thin. And that ended up not happening either because you have the mentality of going to be skinny and not going to be healthy. And you end up having a terrible relationship with food and you do yo-yo dieting and then it fails and you crash and you whatever, 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 the cycle repeats itself, you get nowhere. So it ended up never working and only um, so my, I ended up not working, but my weight would always fluctuate up and down. At some points I was very heavy and at some points I would like looked kind of normal. Like it would just depend on what, um, activity I was doing and just like random stuff kind of, I don't know. So in middle school, in like eighth grade, I decided to get into health and fitness. Um, and that lasted for three or four months. I lost weight, but then I came back to the United States I did middle school in South Korea but I came back to the United States and immediately started gaining weight very 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 fast um, and no matter what I was doing it wasn't helping anything to slow it down sorry if the angle changed I just have to like fix the camera but so I remember this was my sophomore year or junior year, like going into junior year in the summer maybe I weighed myself for the first time in a long time and I, I realized I was the heaviest I'd ever been I saw 200 pounds and I was like holy fuck how did I do this to myself I feel disgusting I feel like a piece of shit I feel horrible and I never want to ever be heavier than this never reach this point again I'm gonna change something right now so I tried eating better this and that but the real change happened my junior year summer into junior year I tried out for varsity volleyball and I was good at volleyball um I obviously couldn't jump as high as anyone else because like you know if you weigh more you can jump as high but 
I was my skills were good I was a great server I had a jump float like I was a great volleyball player so I made varsity volleyball and our practices were running five miles outside and then doing four hours of volleyball practice after that so just through doing that I would eat shit and I started to lose weight because the amount of calories that I was burning was more than that I was consuming because I was just constantly playing volleyball or running literally so I started losing weight without trying um, and that was a big kickstarter to me and once I realized I was losing weight I was like this is this is my time I'm going to get started I'm going to do it I'm going to become my fittest self I'm going to get healthy all this stuff and I was like I'm going to do it I'm just committing so I created Gabby Berg Fit. It was private. I followed it. My parents did. Maybe one of my friends. And that was it. And I posted the workouts that I did. And it was not aesthetic. It was not cute. It was nothing. It was I'm keeping myself accountable. Pictures of the scale um, and stuff like that. So that's how Gabby Berg Fit started. But I decided to go paleo. And paleo is the paleolithic diet where you only eat what hunters and gatherers would eat. So you there's no grains. So you eat meat and protein that you could gather or that you could hunt and then berries and vegetables that you could gather and that worked very very well for me i've since doing that even up until now i realized that my body cannot handle a lot of carbohydrates well it just slows down my metabolism so while i do eat them sometimes i try to stay away from them um, but that diet worked very very well for me and i went to the gym all the time i started running i got really healthy people at school started to say stuff to me like wow you look amazing like what are you doing all this stuff and I realized then that like what I was doing was slowly slowly making an impact I tried out my first spin class at this place called Zengo Cycle I literally died and could not walk after it but I fell in love and loved that and with all of this fitness stuff there is a very scary side to fitness as well where you become obsessed you see the numbers on the scale start to drop you see the changes in your body happening and you're afraid that anything that you do that is mildly unhealthy or bad for you was going to immediately revert all of that and i went from 200 to at my lowest i was 143 pounds and this was in the summer and my diet was so so unhealthy i would have a smoothie bowl at noon and have a salad at like 5 p.m and that's all i would eat and it was very unhealthy i was afraid that any carbs would hinder my process or my progress and um i developed an eating disorder i would wake up at five six in the morning to go for runs outside even on vacation i would still wake up at six in the morning to finish my workout or i felt like i was useless um and would not take a rest day. I remember I went like 16 days up resting and I was like, wow, like my legs really hurt. Yeah, well, no shit. You're not letting your body recover. <laughs> so all of these things now I'm starting to realize, but um, in the moment, if I didn't get so obsessed with it, I don't think I would have made as much progress as I did. I've obviously learned from that now, but there is a scary side to health and fitness as well. I remember I lost friendships over it. People, like I was just being a bitch to people. I was like, why are you eating that? Like. Like why would, like, you know what I mean? Like everything that you think that, is, that you're doing is correct. Very, very bad mentality, but that was my junior year. So now we're going into the summer of junior year and I'm trying out for varsity volleyball for my senior season. I was the fittest out of everyone. I was ranked number one on every single fitness test. I ran the most, whatever, push-ups the most, whatever, I did it all, I was ranked number one. And I was like, okay, that's great. Like I'm going to obviously make it my senior year. So excited with my friends. And my coach decided to cut six seniors, I think. And so I was like, well, shit, I was cut. What do I do now? So I decided to start going back more and more to Zengo where the spin studio was. I was making up steps with spin. And I actually ended up getting a job there that summer. So at that point forward now, I was balancing work and life and school. And I was meeting these amazing people. I was connecting with people who were in the health and fitness industry. Um, instructors became my closest friends. I met a ton of amazing people. And my mindset began to shift a little bit. I had a year of that very obsessive mentality. And after a year, I realized that it was not healthy and the sacrifices that i was making in my life were not worth it so i became a lot more chill um i have this like 
eat the cookie mentality where like if you want a fucking cookie just eat it or if you want a piece of pizza go eat it because that's not gonna do anything to you and it's better to have a healthy relationship with food so my relationship with food became a lot more calm down I would eat what I wanted to when I wanted to and my diet today is intuitive eating so if I am hungry I will eat if I am not hungry I will not eat and the second that I feel full when I'm eating I stop eating and that has helped me maintain my weight loss and have a healthy relationship with food. If I wake up in the morning and I'm craving coffee, I'll get it. If I wake up and I'm craving um, avocado toast, I'll get it. If I wake up and I'm craving, oh my God, I really want a donut today, I'll go get it. Like it just depends. But the key is the second that I feel full, I stop eating. And that is super important as well so that you don't overeat. And now I have stomach problems happening to me with bloating. So that's also not helping if I overeat. So I'm trying to really focus on listening to my body wants and doing that. But back to um, my senior year, I worked through Zengo that entire year. And now at this point, Gabby Burke Fit has gone public. And I think I had probably like 200 followers. My friends at school followed it. Um, I tried to make my posts look aesthetic. I edited them on Visco, like tried to use my feed to make it look good. And slowly and slowly, it evolved into, I want this to, be like my lifestyle like I want Gabby work fit to be my brand I want to live this healthy way my entire life I want to motivate inspire people I want to change people's lives I want them to be able to do what I did for myself so now today I am living through intuitive eating I have gone through three years of spin class I'm now a sophomore in college I love my Gabby Berg fit. I run it. I post a ton of good stuff on there. I edit it with all these apps I have. I'm now starting my YouTube channel. Um, and my life has never been healthier. I've never felt better than I do right now today. So if you guys are struggling with your weight, if you're struggling with that yo-yo dieting, that mentality that you're not good enough, I'm gonna starve myself. Oh fuck, I ate too much. God, I hate myself, whatever, whatever you are so capable to get over that and my my recommendation for a first step for anyone that wants to lose weight is number one you need to mentally commit to yourself if you don't commit and you don't go all in 100 percent, you're probably going to fail and that's why all those years that i wanted to do those new year's resolutions um they ended up just not working at all for me because i did not fully commit and i did not intend to really change my life i just wanted to get skinny and that's just not going to happen so you need to commit and then it's going to be hard as fuck and you need self-discipline but i recommend intuitive eating which is hard at first um basically the second that you feel full just stop eating and eat whatever your body is telling you to so if your body is telling you that it wants a bowl of fruit go eat it but if your body is telling you it wants pizza go eat that but eat everything in moderation and that's the key to start losing weight and start get, getting a healthy lifestyle find something that you can do that's active that doesn't feel like exercise to you because when i would do spin it did not feel like exercise to me it was just fun i was hanging out with my friends getting a great workout in um so definitely find something that makes you happy when you do it um but yeah self-discipline is necessary eat in moderation and you need to commit to yourself honestly make an instagram account make it private post only for yourself don't let anyone follow it post to keep yourself accountable that's how i started and i'm so glad that i did you guys are literally so capable of anything that you want i promise and if you guys have any more questions feel free to dm me on gabby work fit i'd love to help you guys out write some workouts out um be there for you to support you so definitely DM me there if you need anything. But I think that's gonna be it for my video today. I hope you guys have such, such an amazing day whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys, bye.